Ruth is a story of change. We have to go very far back to look at the roots of her personality. She was a descendant of Lot's daughters. Some of you may know the story of Lot and his daughters, but in short, they thought the world had come to an end with the destruction of Sodom. And in a cave, Lot's daughters got him drunk, slept with him, and had children with him. The elder daughter named the chi her child Moab, which means from my father. It's like naming a baby incest. Okay, Moab eventually became the ancestor of a people, a people for whom there's no shame, there's no sense of this is right and this is wrong. It's only pragmatism, only this is who we are and this is what we want. When those traits are left unchecked, it leads to cruelty and promiscuity, which are inevitably entwined since they both feel, feed on exploitation. That's what Ruth was born into. She married Machlon, who was the son of the Gadol Hador, the greatest man of Israel in his time. How did that happen? Elimelech, Machlon's father, was living in Israel in a time of famine. He escaped the constant requests that the people were making to give and give and give and give. You know how you feel when you're at the, t at the coat. Some people say, stuck it, stuck it. That's how he felt. He felt that he had no self left. And he made a tragic error. Instead of feeling compassion when he could no longer give, he escaped. His son married a non-Jewish woman, as did his second son, who married Orpah. Did they go through some sort of conversion before the marriage? Very likely. But what we see about Ruth is that she didn't trust the conversion. How do we see this? We find that Ruth made answers to Naomi, who was telling her to go back to her people. From the answers she gave Naomi, we learn the questions that Naomi put to her and why her answers show who she could be and what conversion truly is. The first answer that she gave was, where you go, I'll go. Naomi said, go back. She said, no, where you go, I'll go. What was the question that that was the answer to? There's a Jewish law called Chum Shabbat, which means that past the very last house in the city or town that you're in, you could only walk a mile or so, 2,000 amma. Why did Naomi tell her that if she's explaining Judaism to Ruth? Many very observant Jews don't know about this because today we live in large cities where these laws aren't that relevant. I'll tell you why. What Naomi told Ruth is if you want to reach God, you have to be able to say, I'll walk the walk, I'll go where he takes me, as opposed to what? I'll go where my feet take me. You have to be able to have purpose and direction. And Ruth said, where you go, that's where I'm going. Next. Ruth answers Naomi, where you sleep over, I'll sleep over. What was that an answer to? Naomi told Ruth the very stringent laws concerning Yehud, that a woman may not be behind closed doors, locked doors, with a man who's not her father, brother, grandfather, child, sp um, spouse, sibling. Why? I'll tell you why we don't like these laws, because we like the game of I'm above suspicion. Naomi said in Judaism, we don't play that game. We play the game of I'm only human. And the results we get is that if you don't break these laws, you don't end up with the terrible human tragedies that come from people crossing lines that they never believed that they would cross. And Ruth answered, where you sleep, that's where I'll sleep. Naomi persisted, she wasn't sure yet. Ruth says, Amech Ami, my people are your people. What was that an answer to? Naomi said, the kosher laws will separate you from others. I once was in Denver and um, I had I had dinner with a very distinguished man, a, a lawyer, uh, an important person. And the only place he could take me was a grocery store that had a pizza parlor in the back. It's the only place I could eat at that time in Denver. It could be now there are better places, I don't know. But if you're kosher, you have to be able to say no. And that puts a crimp on some of your social interactions at times. And Ruth said, I'll live with that. If God's path takes me to uplifting physicality through keeping the kosher laws, I'll go there, even if it separates me. Next, 
Velokayach Elokai, your God is my God. What does that mean? It means that Ruth was telling to her, I will relinquish every belief I have in other forces. I won't worship God and at the same time worship everything else. Your God is my God. There's one single God who governs everything, who's the source of all goodness, who's the purpose of life. I'll go there. And going there is what real conversion is about. On Shavuot, we're considered like converts every year because we could make these same pledges. I'll go where you'll go. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. Something to think about.